Hello guys, uh, welcome to another FU Money Show. Uh, first of all, I would like to apologize. Sometimes my videos seem to be out of sync, the audio and the video. That's because my computer is a bit older than I would expect by now. I'm waiting for the new, uh, the release of the new uh, MacBook Pro 16 inches uh, M1X. I hope with that uh, new laptop soon we will have better quality in the sync of the audio and the video. Um, <clears throat> so before uh, I go to the charts, let me just address two comments I had here from the previous video. One of them is again from our loyal follower, Kapka Filipova. She says, great video. I find your videos very knowledge knowledgeable and also confirmation to my own TA. Keep going. Thank you again, uh, Kapka. Um, maybe it's time you show us some of your TA so we can we can um, also look at it together or something or uh, publicly I mean so that other people can also see your TA maybe you have a trading view account and you can share some of your TA if you say that um, my TA uh, you see my TA as a confirmation of your own TA so I would like to compare them uh, say something on Twitter, you know, you can DM me uh, so we can we can check your TA also Or maybe you would like to me to show it on on the channel and probably discuss it uh, online with uh, everyone watching Another comment comes from NetDrifter Hugo, thanks for the videos. Very informative. Uh, thank you NetDrifter not sure if you've been asked before if you have addressed it before then disregard this ask but do mind a adding a CT reverse buy cycle indicator to your price to time model and give us your thoughts on the next cycle top based on what this indicator shows for 2013 and 2017 cycle tops. Thank you. Uh, thanks Netrisa for your comment. Um, I've been I've been hearing a lot about this um, this uh, indicator let's call it an indicator which um, gives you the cycle tops and I will in this video I will analyze it a bit I will add it to my pi uh, price to time uh, model and I will try to give you my thoughts but first of all let's go to the charts as usual and see what is happening today so here are the charts we will start with the price to time model as usual and see where we stand at the current moment so <clears throat> let's zoom in here so that everyone can see better even the ones using phones to watch the videos uh, so as as from now this is still below the exponential curved line so in my opinion again we are still healthy and sustainable in our price action i don't uh, foresee or predict any short-term corrections while the price is still below the uh, curved uh, line so also to the downside you know the moving averages are catching up we still have some space for corrections but i don't see uh, any kind of uh, you know big correction right now because we are not overextended to the upside so regarding the price to time model for now this is the information we have so let's go quickly to the MRI uh, and let's take a look starting with the weekly chart okay so the weekly chart remains basically around the 59,000 the green candle is still a buy signal uh, here we are still on uh, two so we had a reset on the count on the weekly if I can see it correctly let me just zoom in a bit oops sorry wrong key so let's go back let me just zoom in here so we have uh, a, a green two of nine on the weekly we are a bit above the 59,000 line which is the red line you see here uh, I would love this candle to close tomorrow still above the 59,000 that would be the highest close the highest weekly close in the 
history of Bitcoin and that would be a very bullish sign to me. Um, as you can see, the entire week has been trading in between the two lines I have here, which were drawn or plotted some time ago. And that's a very good sign that we are coming out of the area in between the two red lines and we are above the 59,000 for now on the weekly chart. Uh, so again, the wrong key. I'm a bit uh, crazy today. Let me just adjust this. I don't like the candles to be so uh, large. Okay, so in a bit more um, open, you know, area of the chart, I can see that we are still in a very good position for a bullish market from the weekly point of view, of course. So the price right now is around 59,100. We already went a bit above that to the 60,000 100 so $1,000 more and then we retraced a bit but we are still above the 59 this is good this is a good uh, sign to me um, that we could end the week tomorrow in a very bullish uh, configuration or structure of the markets so let's go to the daily chart let me just adjust this a bit because I had I just pressed the wrong key when I was zooming and then I lose the arrows if the candles are very thin. So this is the daily chart. The daily chart is showing me a structure I don't like very much because this curve, uh, the curve that you see here, something like this. Try to watch the the cursor, the hand, the white hand here. This curve that is happening it it's not it's not a very bullish in my opinion it's not a very bullish um, sign um, the structure itself could mean that we are again topping here also today is an MRI top as you can see by the number one in red here and the red arrow so this candle is an MRI top that indicates we could have a reversal of the price action going back to the downside which I would expect if it happens to be supported by the moving average the 20 period moving average which is the green line or even the 50 period moving average which is catching up really quickly so as you can see before the 50 period moving average was a very good support for the price action when we were breaking out of this triangle which was supposed to be a much higher drop the 50 period moving average supported the price initiated uh, initiated a reversal here and took us to the upside again however this consolidation around the 59000 right now although it's a very good sign that we have consolidation that could mean that soon with this uh, uh, squeeze in the price action we could have some kind of breakout to the upside the fact that we have the MRI top and the configuration itself of this curve which is uh, more and more getting squeezed this could turn uh, either way uh, although i believe that in a bull market the probabilities of breaking out to the upside are uh, higher than the probabilities of a breakout to the downside also, even if we have a breakout to the downside here, if we have some kind of drop, a uh, very volatile drop, I would imagine that the two moving averages down here would support the price action and take us to the upside again. So that is my vision for the daily chart. Let's take a look at the four hours. The four hours uh, is showing precisely the same curved uh, structure that I discussed on the previous chart. We are having a squeeze here, a squeeze alert in the pro indicators you will see just after this one uh, is um, a very volatile situation could happen. So let's see how this evolves. However, I believe that in a bull market and also with the moving averages catching up, this could mean a breakout to the upside. And let's hope that's the case. So I just forgot to see on the daily chart 
how the RSI is going. So as you see, the RSI is very neutral, just going sideways. The MACD, the blue line just crossed above the orange line. The bars became green. However, this is not a very uh, bullish uh, configuration so far. They are very close. They are pointing to the side, side, going sideways, both lines. The bars are not very high. They are really, really little. Uh, so we could we could see unfortunately this could turn out to be you know either direction however i believe that even if we have a short term reversal of the price to the downside here we can be supported by the moving averages and then uh in a, a bit longer term like a few days we could turn again and reverse the price action to the upside so let's go back to the four hour let me check if everything yeah exactly so the macd is on the four hours so the shorter term is becoming a bit bearish uh, however the bitmax funding rate is below the dot 11 threshold so i believe this will not uh, be very very uh, even if we go to the downside a bit we have a reversal here and we could touch this 50 period moving average on the four hour I believe this would not be for long and it could mean a reversal just a few hours or days later and going back to the upside to try and break the all-time high again so let's go to the one hour and check the bitmax funding rate exactly at the time we are speaking i am recording sorry i'm recording at around 5 30 pm portuguese time and at this point we had a drop in the price we had the sell signal however the price was again supported by this 58 and a half support and i believe this will be a very very um, volatile situation when it happens that we either go to the upside or to the downside however i believe that if we go to the downside it will be not uh, such a big drop as it could be the movement if we go to the upside okay so the fisher distance is neutral the bitmax funding rate is actually if you go that's why i like to see the bitmax funding rate in the uh, shorter time frame of one hour because as you can see we are a bit above the dot 11 right now we are at 0 0.12 and that's not very good for the bullish case in the short term however if this uh, funding rate turns out to be closer to zero in the next few hours or even by tomorrow i believe that would mean um, that would give me the market sentiment that we could be in a very good position to break out to the upside okay so let's go to the pro indicators very quickly and the pro indicators doesn't show any big differences from the previous days we are still uncertain if we are going to continue this movement up and not form a new range boundary here which would not be so good for the bullish case but still we are not going down so whichever happens we don't have any certain so far my probabilities are higher in the sense that we could break this third range boundary line the dashed orange line here and have a breakout to the upside however as you can see and i said before this purple or magenta area here in between the uh, bearish signals and the bullish signals is showing us a squeeze alert so uh, yesterday you could even see the indicator put uh, uh, here a sign saying squeeze alert but now the sign is not there however because this is increased a bit so it's not so squeezed as yesterday but still the magenta color is here so we are experiencing a kind of squeeze and that as you know can make the price action very volatile okay so let's go quickly to the price to time model and i am going to address this spy cycle indicator that people have been talking about uh, for some time and i've been getting some messages from different uh, followers 
not only on Twitter, but also on the uh, channel itself here on YouTube. So, uh, so the indicator is uh, called CT reverse buy cycle. So let me just give you guys a hint. I was watching the video. I suppose that this channel, uh, Decent Trader, is the channel of the guy <coughs> that uh, found out about this uh, indicator or he invented this indicator and as he claims to have done it in this video which is the video about the indicator how it works i was watching the video very uh being very attentive to the video and trying to understand everything i was trying to uh on my own um let me check here so yeah this is the pie and this is the video and i was trying to use the normal standard moving averages from trading view on this chart of my price to time model uh, however uh, for me to use the 350 days times two i would have to change the uh, code for the moving average because the moving average from trading view by trading view does not allow me to multiply the values per two so i found out that there is this um, let me just remove my own moving averages uh, or just hide them i'm going to hide the 20 period moving average and i'm going to hide the 200 period moving average and i found out that there is already an indicator on trading view called the pi cycle 350 111 days with the two moving averages and i'm going to turn it on right now okay so I was um, trying to understand this before. I watched the video. I saw the indicator on my price to time model. Actually, the indicator points to the exact top here on 2017. And here it's not so close to the actual top. The indicator, uh, the pi cycle top sign here is indicated in, uh, is pointing to the next candle which is the one going down already and as we know on the week after the top and this is weekly chart so every candle is a week on the week after the top we were already so volatile that one of the weeks came down to 6000 from 19 19,800 something dollars to 6,000 then it went back up again so this was a very volatile period as the ones that watched it closely back then in 2017 know like me because I was watching this very closely also in on 2017 and the first of course there is something here I can see that the indicator actually crosses the lines uh, very close to the point where we had a top however However, there's one thing which makes me um, think a bit, makes me think a bit, and this is that sign over there. So let me just zoom in here, and this is the, so, sorry, let me, uh, let me just go here and zoom again. So as we can see here, this is the complete bull market of... 2013 and as you know a bull market can only be a bull market when you have the final top and after that you have a bear market that extends for some time so in my opinion there is something here i believe that the two lines that compose this indicator actually cross every time there is a very uh, extended price action which could mean that we are close to a top or we are at a top however I believe that this complete bull market only topped here and this is not a top this is overextended exuberance in the price action then we had a 75% correction and then we continued the bull market to the top so you cannot consider that this is a top without considering that after a top you don't have a, bull, uh, a bear market and we didn't have the time to have a bear market because just so 
let me see so the last candle which is almost equal to the first one is here i have to zoom out to check the dates but i will tell you about this so the second candle which was the highest um the closest to the highest candle on that period was on the 22nd of april and we and we bottomed on the 1st of July of the same year. So this is not a bear market. And if this is not a bear market, this is not a top. This is a top. So in my opinion, you know, during this complete bull market, you have only one top, which is this one here, the second one, this is not a top this is just overextended exuberance in price action which was corrected came back down to the moving averages we didn't even have the time to have a bear market because this was just two months and then we continued our bull market to the actual top and then after that we had a bear market which extends for a long period of time and come and uh, so much more than just two months and I'm going to zoom out again and you can see that after the first stop this was about the 2nd of December uh, sorry let me just turn off the indicator so I can actually see which candle was so this was the candle on the 25th of November on that week of course because i'm seeing the week so i cannot give you the exact day but this was the week of the 25th of november 2013 and then we bottomed out during the bear market on the 12th of january 2015 so guys this was a two year almost uh one and a half if let's just consider that this was on the 1st of january 2014 because it was very close so you had the entire year of 2014 and half and yeah one year at let's say let's say the bear market was one year which is longer of course but we topped we bottomed out on the 12th of january 2015 however the bear market continued and you can only say that the bull market started around the August or September of 2015 culminating in the top of 2017 so you cannot consider this here let me just turn on again the pi cycle you cannot consider this first one a top because this is a complete this complete area is a bull market so the only top you can consider is that one and then you have another top on that one which is the end of this complete bull market that lasted almost two years so it's true that the indicator i analyzed it and i checked that the lines cross very close to the candle that is the highest one on that period of time however you cannot say that this indicator gives you the top of the bull market you can say that this indicator gives you a top or an overextended uh, exuberance in price action during any kind of market any bull market or even bear market if you have uh, if during the bear market you have uh, for example a very uh, overextended uh, price action in one or two weeks that could mean like a difference in price of 80% uh, or 90%, for example, the lines will cross. However, you cannot say that this is the top of one cycle, of the bull market cycle. Um, so it's a very good indicator. I believe that the when the lines are crossing, it could mean that we are overextended at a point that it's almost impossible not to have a big correction but I would not call it the bull market top indicator uh, because as you can see here this is not the top of the bull market and it gave you the indication that this was a top of course this was a top we have a correction but we didn't have a bear market afterwards so I like it I, I like the fact that 
it gives you a very good indication when the price could reverse in a very severe way um, but I would not I would not call it the cycle top I would call it the pie top and then it would be completely fine by me so it's a it's a very good indication I I will I will for sure continue to have this indicator here on my price to time model uh, and I will continue to check what uh, the lines are doing so far you can even see here uh, so far the lines have not yet crossed so you can see that the lines are very 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 close together but the price action did not make the lines cross yet so we uh, of course the pi cycle indicator uh, did not give you any any signs that this is going to be a top right now so we could continue moving upwards and the line is not crossing yet although they are very very close but so that's the only thing i i have to say i it's very interesting i and uh, i i i really found interesting that when the lines cross we are overextended and usually what happens uh, with every overextended price action is that we have a correction and so the lines indicate that we are overextended in a very very exponential uh, way but if it gives me a top here just just try to understand my what's my mindset about this imagine you are here you don't know anything what happens after that and then this gives you this top and it says okay this is the top for the bull market you sell all your bitcoin and two months after that it goes higher and almost more than doubles the price so it's not good in that way it's not good that it's telling you that you have reached the top for the bull market when the bull market is not over so in 2013 that happened and luckily in 2017 that did not happen but we will see what happens now in this current bull market so there are you have my thoughts already on this uh, i will continue to check on it and i will not remove it from my chart i will leave the indicator over there and i will try to see what happens in the future and if we have any more data points that we can analyze i will come back to you about this or if any of you guys asks me to just, uh, you know, analyze it again or because something uh, new happened, I will, I will, um, of sure, um, I will, of course, uh, uh, come back to this indicator and I will, I will address it again. And I will use it on my own analysis even when I'm not recording any videos. Okay, guys, so this is my opinion. Very interesting. I, I really like the fact that the lines cross and indicate overextended price action. Uh, let's see if, for example, this year happens that we have an intermediary top or overextended price action with a big correction and then we continue to go up. Uh, and this indicates that that was a top. I want to see what you guys will do if you, for example, take profits on your Bitcoin and you sell 25 or 50 or even 75% of Bitcoin because you think that's the top. And then we have a 75% correction that lasts for two months. And then we continue going up to the 280K that everyone is, uh, you know, uh, many different um, models indicate that. And even, even uh, Willy Wu, uh, on-chain analysis he said already several times that we easily will reach the 300k so what happens then and then you took profit in in uh, you know on a top that wasn't the top so be careful guys be careful because the indicator is uh, very interesting but be careful with that because uh, to me it doesn't give me a top it gives me an over extended price action that could mean with 90% certain that we are going to have a big correction. So there's just a difference in interpretation of what this indicator gives you and what it says that can give you. That's it. But all the rest to me looks nice, looks very interesting, and that's my opinion. As to the analysis for today, this is done. I also analyze, uh, analyzed this uh, pie cycle 
reverse spy cycle indicator as it is described on the comment that I got from my previous video. Uh, so if you enjoy this content, smash the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new and share it with your friends and let's grow the community and I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.